रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सब्जेक्टिव माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पेपर फॉर जेनरिक नर्सिंग क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स कीपिंग इन व्यू द रूटीन पैटर्न ऑफ यूएचएस एग्जामिनेशन एंड माय प्रीवियस एक्सपीरियंस I will try to guide you how to prepare in a better manner to achieve good marks. Now, first of all, these are twenty important questions of microbiology, which will help you in subjective paper and better preparation. Okay, students. Question number one. differences between bacteria viruses and fungi differences between bacteria viruses and fungi when you will prepare the differences or comparison actually you are preparing three individual topics complete theory regarding bacteria viruses and fungi they are complete structural details okay question number 2 differences in cell wall of gram positive and gram negative bacteria students this will include definition of gram positive and gram negative bacteria staining technique of grams staining and important characteristic of cell walls of gram positive and negative bacteria now number third is classification of bacteria students this is very important from bsn general point of view classification of bacteria and it includes different criterions for classifying bacteria for example classification of bacteria on the basis of nutrition classification of bacteria on the basis of energy requirements classification of bacteria on the basis of differences in cell wall classification of bacteria on the basis of temperature classification of bacteria on the basis of type of energy requirements so all these criterions are present in your textbook levinson students i will clearly tell you that Levinson is more than enough for BSN microbiology paper examination and by preparing Levinson you can very easily and nicely attempt subjective as well as MCQ type paper this book is very comprehensive and detail and easy for students to memorize now number 4 question normal flora or microbiome students in this question you must know the microorganisms present in different normal flora for example normal flora of skin normal flora of mouth normal flora of vagina normal flora of upper gastrointestinal tract normal flora of teeth so this one question comprises actually a detailed study of normal flora as well as microbiome number 5th question students determinants of bacterial pathogenesis determinants of
bacterial pathogenesis this means what are the factors which play a role in causing disease by bacteria in this question students you must know different routes of entry of microorganisms different modes of transmission of microorganisms okay different types of zoonotic diseases what is vertical transmission what is horizontal transmission what are the diseases or microorganisms which infect through breast milk the microorganisms which cause infection through blood borne what are the microorganisms which cause infection through fecal oral route students this topic also include food borne diseases water borne diseases and as well as hospital acquired infections which are commonly called nosocomial infections because nosocomial infections includes the microorganisms transmitted through droplet infections through fomites okay so you have to study this chapter from levinson that is determinants of bacterial pathogenesis in a very detailed manner students this chapter will also comprise a large volume of your multiple choice questions okay number 6 question differences between exotoxins and endotoxins in this question you must know the bacteria names of bacteria producing exotoxins names of bacteria producing endotoxins and also examples of some clinical diseases which are caused as a result of exotoxins and endotoxins now students next question question number 7 is stages of an typical infection yes students question number 7 stages of infection it includes both chain of infection as well as the stages of a typical bacterial infection students the different components of chain of infection and preventive measures to stop any infection these are the same things okay now we move to the topic of antibiotics students this topic must include classification of antibiotics mechanism of action of antibiotics combination of antibiotics in use and antibiotic resistance okay now question number 9 different types of bacterial infections students you must know the type of bacterial vaccine along with the name of the disease for which vaccine is used okay now and question number 10 students this chapter of sterilization and disinfection you must read it 
completely from book Levinson. That is, I have got 15th edition of Levinson. Different sterilizing agents, chemical sterilizing agents, gaseous sterilizing agents, different types of heat, different types of chemical sterilization agents, along with their clinical uses. This is very important, students. You must know the mechanism of action of different sterilizing and disinfectants. Okay? Now, question number 11. Innate immunity. Students, you must know characteristics or components of innate immunity. What are the cells taking part in innate immunity and what are the features which separate innate immunity from acquired immunity? Now, question number 13, sorry, question number 12, differences between innate immunity and acquired immunity. Students, in this question, you must know different components of acquired immunity, different types of acquired immunity, different types of cells taking part in developing acquired immunity. Now, next question is, types of antibodies or immunoglobulins you must know the basic structure of immunoglobulins along with different types of immunoglobulins and their presence for example which immunoglobulin is present in breast milk which immunoglobulins are present at the time of birth which immunoglobulins they decrease in amount with increasing age now students our next question is regarding complement system you must know the functions of complement system the two cycles which activate the complement system that is alternative pathway and classical pathway okay now next is regarding tolerance and immunity students you must know the exact definition as well as mechanism of development of tolerance and autoimmunity you must know clinical examples or names of the diseases, autoimmune diseases. Now, very important topic is hypersensitivity. Students, you must know type 1, 2, 3 and 4 types hypersensitivity reaction. And when you will prepare the comparisons between type 1, 2, 3 and 4 hypersensitivity reactions, you will get a precise understanding of mechanisms. Next is allergy. What is allergy? What are examples of allergy what are allergic diseases in human body how to develop allergy okay and students along with it desensitization how to prevent allergy okay now we have got MHC proteins major histocompatibility proteins 
यू मस्ट नो टाइप वन एंड टाइप टू एम एच सी प्रोटीन्स एंड देयर रोल इन डिवेलपिंग इम्यूनिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू मस्ट नो एंटीजेंस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज ओके वॉट आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स विच मेक्स एन एंटीजन मोर एंटीजेनिक मोर डिजीज कॉजिंग एंड लास्टली स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट नो नेम्स ऑफ कॉमन बैक्टीरिया वायरसेज फंगाई एंड पैरासाइट्स along with the names of diseases caused by these microorganisms at your level at least names of five bacteria five names of viruses fungi and parasites along with the names of five clinical disease it will be sufficient for you people so students this was a brief review regarding preparation of microbiology although it is not a guess paper it is just to help you in preparation so that you not might skip the important topics okay students prepare yourself for the annual uhs bsn examination of microbiology and best of luck from dr rizwan thank you